Hello everybody, my name is Benic G. Spicer and welcome to Unsound. Now this is a game that's currently in development because I'm still working on it. I know everything about it because I'm still working on it. So I'd like to give a few little disclaimers. I am a grad student at Florida International something or other in Orlando and I am not sure about what I'm doing. So you might notice that some of the stuff doesn't look quite as good as it should, but that's because I'm still learning. So, just be patient with me. So, my game Unsound. Well, it's made with all these lovely assets that I've ripped off of the Unreal Engine 4 store because this game is made in Unreal Engine 4 and there are a lot of talented people out there making free content for losers like me. So, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of them. So anyway, story of my game is that Thomas, a your typical brown-haired white guy protagonist, or maybe I'll change that, I don't know, comes home to find all the lights on, but nobody home. So he's walking around to figure out what's up. I haven't put in all the story points yet. I will probably get to doing that after this video, but I was so excited with some recent major successes that I just wanted to show things off. So as you can see, we've got a wonderful bedroom here. I'm not the best of interior designers. I'll get an artist to help me out with that. But as we see, another bedroom. Got an office with an amazing gaming laptop from the future. Laptop, why did I say laptop? Because I'm on a laptop. I'm used to laptops. Nobody has desktops. <laughs> Weirdos, desktops. Just kidding. You're always going to beat me out, aren't you, desktop peoples? So you look around all on the first floor, and you decide, hey, let's go upstairs, but there's no light upstairs. You're going to try anyway? And says, that's odd. Maybe a fuse broke in my office. Let me fix that first. So you go to the office. <clears throat> and you find this little fuse box, and it says the power still isn't working and that you need to get a flashlight. Now, if you go back up here, the dialogue will change to reflect that you just checked it out. So anyway, so what I've just done there isn't mandatory for the progression of the story. It's simply there for players who are trying to explore and figure things out. I'm telling them how to get through where they need to go. So you need to find a flashlight. So now, if you're looking through this level, you're probably finding that there is not a single flashlight in sight. Now that's because as you freak out and you're like, oh, where do I find? You find this. Suddenly this appears, this gap in the wall. And you're like, is that a developer error? Or am I, is my house just weird? Well, you're about to find out your house is quite weird. Why did something break? Something broke. Something broke. Something broke. Why did... And we're back, and I'm finally... I figured out what was the problem, so we're just going to get going from here. Now, you may notice as I load up the next section that there's going to be a big, obnoxious light, and that is because... Wait for it... New level! Okay, so that is just for me as a developer to be able to make things easier. So let's get on with the show there. You just heard that earphone breaking sound. It was really creepy. Some kind of a headache noise. I guess that's what headaches sound like. You find your house, but like weirdly arranged and things are floating where they're not supposed to be floating and weird things are happening. I need to put a little bit more thought, I think, into how this level really looks, even though you can't see all that much. But what I do have is a pretty decent, I think, general level layout. So as you see over there, there's a path. Over here, there's a path. These paths both go to the same thing. So I'm just going to show you the scare that is available at both. So right here, kind of predictable, but pretty spooky, especially since the sound is pretty good, I think. Thank you. I know. But in this one, something more interesting happened. I will find, eventually find a way to better, a better way to tell the story rather than debug messages. 
But for right now, those are my tools of choice. Okay. So now that we've exhausted both scares, I'm going to lead you on to the piece de resistance. The coup de gras. The giant thing that also has a French name for it. A flashlight. Oh my god. It is a flashlight and it does things. And it is wonderful. And we found ourselves in a completely more horrifying version of the map. So, I'm going to keep on walking. And walking. And I really hate this because of... <laughs> now, if you can hear that, that's the door sounds of my death. That's happening quite a bit more than I thought it would. This is weird. Uh, I heard something. It was quite louder. The doors are... Um, this is weirding me out, like, a lot. I'm gonna turn this down, because I'm a pussy. Yes, I am probably the only horror dev that knows what they're making and is scared to playtest it. Maybe a couple months into development, I wouldn't feel this way. But for right now, I'm fucking terrified. And I'm probably going to scream. Because my... Poos are really scary, actually. So, oh, that's Mila. Against the locked door. Fucking A. Yeah. So, anyway. So, now it's about this level. I've... Got these wonderful little doors. And all these doors lead places. And they lead into what look to be... Dead ends! And then they turn into not dead ends. If you look at them the right way. Let's hope she doesn't fucking come back. I'm going down this way. Holy shit. Good. So as a developer, I get this nice little perk in that I know the whole level layout. And I know where they're not going to find me. And I know how to get around by doing things. And yes, the hallway is now open. I'm gonna have to watch this chick later. Oh. It would be locked. I don't know why I forgot to do that. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in here. I'm going to take the other route. Which is probably going to lead to me getting horrified because there is a small chance that our friend Miss Chicky Poo is waiting for me at one of the projects of this thing. In fact, let's do some good old-fashioned stealthing and see if we can find out when she gets here. She's probably going to come any moment. I'm probably going to shit myself and pee myself and- Oh, hi. And there she goes. Okay, I think I know where she goes next. So I'm just going to sprint on by and get on with the rest of the level. Okay. Freaky shit, if you ask me. I mean, I obviously need some polish because I am just a student. But yeah, okay. So there's that. And so I've- Oh! No, thank you! What? You're not supposed to be here! The game just rewrote itself! That's not supposed to happen! That's really not supposed to happen! Okay, that's weird. I'm going to continue on now. And now- Things are happening! No! Thank you! For some reason, I keep getting dropped out through the level. Well, that's another thing I gotta fix. But for right now, that is my progress. So, thank you all very much for watching. Don't click any annotations or whatever to find other videos that I've done, because I really haven't done anything else that's really worth watching too much. But as always, I will not see you, or I will see you, in the actual demonstration in class. Bye bye